Northern American culture. The Anasazi were a people that lived up north in the Four Corners region. This location was made up of present-day states of Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. The Anasazi built impressive cliff dwellings or large houses. These houses were built on mesas known as flat-topped hills or in shallow caves in the sheer walls of deep canyons. With time progressing, the Anasazi were living in pueblos, villages of large apartment-style compounds made up of stone and adobe. The largest Anasazi pueblo was known as Pueblo Bonito. Its construction required a high degree of social organization and intensiveness. This shows the people were somewhat capable and organized. In order to build these villages, the Anasazi relied on human labor to quarry sandstone from the canyon walls and move it to the site. Builders then used a mud-like mortar to construct the walls up to five stories high. The people even used a window to keep the sun out due to the environment. Pueblo Bonito had about 1,000 people and had more than 600 rooms. They also had underground, underground ceremonial chambers called kivas for religious practices. The Anasazi began to abandon pueblos due to droughts. Even though they slowly disappeared, their descendants, the Pueblo people, continued their customs. To the northeastern part of America, many woodland tribes began warfare with one another over land. In some tribes, organized alliances to ensure protection of tribal lands. One of the most famous alliances was known as the Iroquois League. This alliance was made up of related speaking tribes living in the Great Lakes. Five tribes made up the Iroquois League. They were Mohawk, Onida, Onondaga, Cayuga, and Seneca. Legend has it that Chief Hayuata started the league in order to promote joint defense and cooperation among tribes. Commercial The Kwakiro Headdress This headdress was used by the Kwakiro for religious ceremonies. For example, they worship all kinds of animals and pray that these animals would guide them and provide them with their needs. This thunderbird was the highest spirit of Kwakiro religion. It also resembled the eagle which flew high in the in then the sky swooped down to catch its prey. There was general recognition that most natural phenomena and all spiritual beings possessed supernatural power and the existence of such power made activities and contacts potentially dangerous. Prayers might be offered or rituals followed to enlist supernatural assistance and affect the outcome of various pursuits. At the time, the, the Kwakiro attitude towards much of the world in which they lived was pragmatic and secular. There was no numerous unearthly beings included, some identified with specific and others with dancing societies. None was seen as particularly active in affecting the outcome of human affairs. Normally invisible, they might assume form humans could see. I am advertising this headdress for the purpose that you can celebrate your religion by wearing the headdress or by hanging it as a nice decoration. Maya culture. The homeland of the Maya stretched from southern Mexico into northern Central America. This area includes a highland region and a lowland region. The lowlands lie to the north of the jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula and the dense steamy jungles of southeastern Mexico and northern Guatemala. The highlands are further south, a range of cool reef mountains that stretch from southern Mexico to El Salvador. Before the flourish of Maya civilization, the Olmec began spreading their influences, which blended Maya culture and made it is to what it, what it now is today. From the period AD 250 to 900 AD is known as the classic age of Mayan civilization. During this time, Mayans built magnificent cities and were also independent city-states, but they ruled over by a god king and each served as a center for religious ceremonies and trade. Many Maya cities featured giant pyramids, temples, palaces, and elaborate stone carvings dedicated to the gods and to important rulers. The population of the cities was enormous and bustled with activity. Even though the city-states were independent of each other, they linked through alliances and trade. Cities exchanged all kinds of products but did not have a single currency for a time, but substituted it with cacao beans or chocolate beans. For the rest of Mesoamerican agriculture, it became the basis of Maya life, grew all kinds of crops and developed all kinds of farming methods. Due to farming and accumulation of wealth, social classes began to develop. The top was the king, then the priests and warriors, merchants and peasants. Religion shaped even Mayan's life. They associated a god of just about everything, even food, color, and directions. They believed that the gods could affect their future and believed every day was a living god whose behavior they could predict with the use of the calendar. The Mayans worshipped in all kinds of ways they made offerings of food, flour, and incense. 
They also cut their bodies and offered their blood to the gods. They even carried human sacrifice at a time where they grew threw captives into a sinkhole along with gold, jade, and other jewelry. The Mayans' belief also led them to develop the calendar, mathematics, and astronomy. They, they developed a 260-day calendar, which consisted of 13 20-day months. A second calendar with 365 days consisted of 18 20-day months. The calendar helped identify best times to farm, attack enemies, and crown new rulers. Mayans also developed a system of writing called glyphs and used it to record historical events and kept them written down into a codex. My civilization ended abruptly through invaders, hardship, population growth, famine, and diseases. Mayans had various ways of worship, such as offerings of incense, food, and flowers. Like other religions, they also gave up worldly items to appease their gods to show love for them and bestow good fortune upon them. The Mayans also had an interesting way of appeasing their gods. For one, they went as far enough to cut themselves and offer their blood, which they believed nourished their gods. For a time, Mayans even practiced human sacrifice. They thought this would keep the world in balance and please the gods. The only, they only used captives and never used their own people. Throughout the centuries, other religions started copying the tradition, but over time, the extremity never reached other Mesoamerican cultures. Commercial, the Jade Death Mask. The death mask was worn by rulers and they were buried with them, enabling the lords of the underworld to recognize them and treat them with honor. In this commercial, we are advertising that the jade death mask can be used for different purposes. For example, the mask is made out of jade and can be used for jewelry or a house decoration. It can also be bought as a respectful sign to the dead. In conclusion, the Jade Death Mask is a very beautiful and handcrafted mask that may be worn or even bought as a house decoration and many other purposes. The term Jade was created by the Spanish Conquistador when they learned the native Mesoamerica. Like the Aztecs, the Inca built their empire on cultural foundations thousands of years ago. Ancient civilizations such as Chavin, Moksh, and Nazca had already established a tradition of high culture in Peru. The Inca originally lived in a high plateau on the Andes. After wandering the highlands for years, the Inca family finally settled on fertile lands in the valley of Cusco. During this early period, the Inca developed, a, developed traditions and beliefs that helped launch the unif and unify their empire. At first, the Incan kingdom grew slowly. In 1438, however, a powerful and ambitious ruler, Pachacuti, took the throne. Under his leadership, the Inca conquered all of Peru and then moved into neighboring lands. Pachacuti and his successors accomplished feats of conquest through a combination of diplomacy and military force. The Inca had a powerful military, but used force only when necessary. To con to control the huge empire, the rulers divided their territory and its people into manageable units, governed by a central bureaucracy. The Inca created an, an efficient economic system to support the empire and, and an extensive road system to tie, it all, to tie it together. They also imposed a single official language, Quechua, and founded schools to teach Incan ways. The architecture of government buildings was the same all over the empire, making the presence of the government apparent. Editorial. The Mayan decline remains a mystery. I believe that historians have enough evidence to prove the decline was not a mystery. The causes for the Maya's decline are numerous, but one of the central causes is that the demands they placed upon their environments grew beyond the cap city of the land. At its peak, there were about 15 million people occupying the Mayan world. Overpopulation of Mayan metropolises are suspected to have gone beyond levels that the Mayan political and social networks were able to support, resulting in social unrest and revolution. The ancient Mayan civilization were developed a sophisticated culture in the Central American rainforest, vanished mysteriously a thousand years ago. Now, an international team of anthropologists, archaeologists, chemists, and climatologists say it has 
identified the cause of the Mayan collapse, climate change, to create a weather record for the past 2,000 years, the scientists analyzed a natural mineral formation called stalagmite from a cave in Belize using oxygen isotopes dating to determine how much rain, rain fell on the region over the centuries. Stalagmites built up increment, incrementally, like tree rings as water drips through the cave ceilings preserving an accurate climate re record. Scientists have long suspected that climate change played a role in fall in the fall of the Mayan civilization, but the precise timeline published in Science provides them with new confidence in the, that connection. Kennick suggests their mythology could be used to increase understanding of the influence of climate on other ancient cultures that also have nearby cave systems.